Hi there, it's Bill, and I'm back with another PS3 video. This time I'm going to teach you how to fat, uh, format the uh, external hard drives to work with PS3 and FAT32. Uh, I had a lot of people asking me about this, I had a lot of people flaming me, telling me how easy it was, but yet I've got two, three hundred emails of people asking me how I did it. Uh, originally I said I wasn't going to say how I did it because I actually spent a lot of time trying to figure it out. And once I figured out that it was just a simple task of formatting it to FAT32, then I had to find one of two programs that would actually do it. Swiss Knife, which is kind of dodgy. Sometimes it won't let people format drives as big as two terabytes into a single partition. As far as I can tell, Swiss Knife isn't set up to do that. When they created the program, one terabyte was the largest file size, as far as they could tell, for uh, FAT32. Now they found out that you can do it up to two terabytes possibly even higher, nobody's really tried. There's no single drives that big, at least not for the average person like you or I. So, either way, the program I'll be using is called FAT32 Format. I have it as the annotation on my other video. I finally did tell people, you want to use this program, it'll work. People are still having problems. It's not an easy program to learn. It's not like Swiss Knife. Swiss Knife's a lot easier. It's also less reliable. So I'm going to teach you how to do it. I'm not doing it with my PS, uh, with my 2 terabyte drive. It's full, and I don't have the space on my home network to back it up. So I'll be doing it with the 500 gig drive that I have here. I'll show you the drive, I'll show you my PS3, and all my other equipment. Alright, all the equipment you'll need. PC or Mac. Either or, doesn't matter. Uh, for Mac, you have to use Swiss Knife, from what I understand. Um, either that or there's other programs that'll probably work. If you have a Mac, you know how to use it a lot better than I would know how to, so you probably don't need this video at all. My external. This is actually an internal drive that with an external docking station. I'll show you the back here. It's a really handy station. I can use this as a to work as, a, as an internal drive for my PS3. It's got an eSATA port, so I can plug it directly in. It's got its own power, so I don't have to rig power to it. It's also got USB, which is what's plugged in there, because this is a USB video. Okay, my PS3. My PS3. Okay. I'll be doing everything on the fly. I didn't pre-download anything for this. Well, I did, but I'm going to redo everything, so, you know, you know exactly how it's done. I won't be giving out any links. I'm doing everything through Google, you can too. Okay. So we're typing in FAT32 format. F-A-T-3-2 F-O-R-M-A-T First link. Uh, Softpedia download. I don't like them, but it works. And then we'll click on download and we'll click on external mirror open with and we're going to extract this very important to the C drive um, if you know how to use command prompt you don't have to extract to the C drive for anybody who is just wanting to follow my video step by step extract to the C drive and I already have one there, so yes to all. Now at this point, the first thing you're going to want to do is check and see, you can make sure your drive's plugged in, and check and see the drive letter. In this case, mine is the G drive. So you're going to want to run command prompt, cmd, then cd dot dot, cd dot dot, we're changing directory, the dot dot means one directory out. So we're going to get it to C colon slash, nothing else. And then type fat32format.exe. Okay. All this information will come up. All this information will come up. Don't really worry about any of it. You're only interested in the very first one. Usage. Bat32 format space X colon. Okay, so the X is your drive letter. So in this case it's Bat32 format space G colon. 
Okay. So we'll type, we'll type that in down. Warning, all data will be lost. Yes. It's a very, very, very fast format. Unless your drive's full, in which case this will take a little bit longer. Okay, so it's done. So what we're going to do is close that. You don't need it anymore. And it's still populating my computer with the new drive information, so hence the little bit of lag. Refresh just to make sure. Okay, yes, the drive is there. So now I'm going to unplug the drive from my laptop. Take it. Plug it in. Down here. I can see it. Plug it in down there on my PS3. Now we're over to my PS3. Grab my controller. If you look here, it's showed up. There's nothing on it because we just formatted it. Information. There's my 500 gig drive. And that's all. Now you can start loading it up, plug it into your computer, load it up with any movies you want, pictures, you know, anything. Load it up and uh, carry it all over to your PS3. If you want to add me to your uh, PSO. My name is the same as my name on YouTube. It is Bones Number One. And yes, I am too lead for you. Anyway, enjoy.